Uh, Tim and I decided to follow a platoon, uh, about 30 men in Afghanistan for a uh, whole deployment. We did a total of 10 one-month trips. Uh, we were at a remote outpost called Restrepo, named after the platoon medic, uh, who was killed a few months into the deployment. Uh, and these guys were in an enormous amount of combat. They were very isolated. There was firefights every day. And what we wanted to do was not do a broad view of the war. We wanted to insert you in their experience so that you can feel what it's like to be a soldier in combat. And how did um, how did you sort of get interested in that? Uh, we've been war reporters for many years. Sebastian was first covering Afghanistan in the mid-90s. I was there in 2001 at the outset of the war. And this is what we do. We, we go to these kind of places and we make pieces of communication to bring back home. You know, this country is a war, and uh, it sometimes feels easy to say those words, but we wanted people to, to think about the emotional terrain of saying what saying those words mean. Uh, and that's what the film is about. The film is the emotional terrain of war. We take you on the most visceral, immersive war you know, journey we can do. We take you right there. You know, we don't talk to politicians or to generals because the soldiers didn't do that. We create, like a Hollywood movie, the illusion that you are there, and literally on a deployment for 90 minutes. Uh, the first war I covered was Bosnia in 1993, and I, I was uh, all over West Africa covering civil wars. I started going to Afghanistan in the mid-90s. Uh, I was shot at by the Taliban in 1996 on the outskirts of Kabul. Uh, I've been in a lot of combat, and this, uh, I mean, in some ways this was no different, but there was a lot more of it on this trip. Our primary, our primary concern making this film was not to go to the Oscars, it was to not get killed. Tim, you want to take that? Uh, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, this uh, we're very far from uh, the hills of Afghanistan. And, um, you know, it's been a remarkable journey for us. It's been a, a very personal journey, too, a very traumatic journey. And uh, we're just absolutely delighted, thrilled to be nominated. Um, the film has really resonated with people. You know, there's uh, a lot of people out there, you know, who feel confused and worried about the war, who are connected to it somehow, but don't quite understand it. And they, they, they feel our film kind of gives them a keyhole through which to see that experience and I'm trying to understand it. Um, so it's, uh, it's a complete honor. And how did you become a, a war correspondent? Uh, you know, I went through my, I muddled through my 20s as a waiter and I was an arborist for tree companies, I was a climber for tree companies and I hit 30 and I just, I, I was trying to be a writer and I didn't know how to do it and I just figured I'd jump off the cliff and see if I could fly and I just went to Bosnia and uh, wound up there as a freelancer and figured out how to be a journalist. Wow. Incredible. Uh, what are some of the impact that this particular film had on you? Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, it's a difficult one to kind of express. I mean, uh, we were both injured out there. I was operated on in Afghanistan uh, with a plate fitted into my leg and got back, you know, came back to make the film. Um, you know, we were with guys who were killed and wounded. We saw some pretty, um, pretty extreme things, but as Sebastian said, we've been war reporters for a long time, you know, um, and this isn't the first time that we've been in traumatic situations. I think more interestingly than us is the, the guys. You know, um, here are young men at war going through these kind of extreme situations of killing and being killed. And we wanted to tell their story. And, you know, this is the Restrepo generation. Hundreds of thousands of young men and women are coming back to this country and they feel unconnected. And we wanted to kind of close the gap between them and the public. We wanted to help a conversation which can ultimately help them and help the public. And we hope our film achieves that. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you very much.